In the morning, they picked me up from the prison in an FSB convoy, put me on the plane. Did you know where you were going? I asked the FSB like security team there, is, are we going to Turkey? And they were like, you know, yeah. I thought like maybe the US Embassy in Turkey was gonna come pick me up. I had no idea what was going on. And <laughs> these vans were driving back and forth to the, to the jet on the runway. And I said, maybe that's the US Embassy. And the FSB was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. So then another van would come and I would say like, maybe that's the embassy. And they said, no. I said, how do you know that that's not them? And they said, we have a man there in America. American jet will fly here. He will land next to us. You will leave the plane. He will leave the plane. You will cross each other on the runway and get in your own planes. And when he told me that, I was like, no, like, <laughs> this guy has to be screwing with me. And I was like, really? And he said, yes. He said, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, do you feel cool? <laughs> and I said, uh, I don't know. He said, you should, because this plane cost a boatload of money. <laughs> he said, they would never fly us on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, were you allowing yourself to feel hope? I was still avoiding that, um, <laughs> but it was difficult. <laughs> An American finally did show up. It was the top diplomat with Spiha, the special presidential envoy for hostage affairs. So Colonel Karstens came on, Roger Karstens from Spiha, and when he was walking out there, I was like, man, who is this actor they sent me? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming to come on here, just waste all the FSB guys and rescue me. <laughs> so, so he came, got on the, the jet. He said, I'm Roger Carstens. I have to identify you. And I said, you know, yeah, it's me. Like, <laughs> I'm Trevor. He didn't respond to that, and then he left. So now I was kind of like, <laughs> like, what? But dude. Yeah, so I was like, can I go? And the FSB said, no. And I said, what's the problem? One of them looks at me and he goes, are you sure America wants you back? <laughs> they sent their guy over to the other jet. They checked out their guy. And uh, we, we did the exchange, walked past Konstantin Yaroshenko. Konstantin Yaroshenko, a Russian pilot who was 11 years into a 20-year sentence for conspiring to bring $100 million worth of cocaine into the United States. And how did he look versus how did you look? Yeah, so he is not being on any hunger strikes there, uh, not missing any meals. Once on board the plane, Trevor got a real meal. They gave me a steak on there, and uh, that was the best thing I've ever ate in my whole life. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> and there was also that first phone call home to mom and dad. That moment was extremely surreal. I don't even really remember what I said there. I think I told them, you know, hey, it's me. I'm on the plane. I'm coming home. I'll see you guys. Everything's okay. Don't worry. 